so today's tutorial is number four in the QVC British Beauty series that I'm doing and number four is Catherine Zeta-Jones and I actually was quite excited to do a Catherine Zeta-Jones tutorial partly because I haven't actually seen a lot of them on YouTube and also because Catherine Zeta-Jones likes to mix up her makeup a little bit she likes to add a bit of colour in I find it difficult doing kind of celebrity inspired looks because a lot of celebrity looks that they wear kind of all the time are the kind of classic smoky eyes or red lips, things like that. But Catherine actually wears quite a lot of colour, so today's look I'm doing a little bit of a green eye. And green eyeshadow is normally really, really scary, but this looks actually really wearable because it keeps the colour quite close to the lash line instead of going kind of right up um, anywhere near your eyebrows or anything scary like that. And it looks really, really great if you have either green or brown eyes, or even if you have a colour like mine, actually. My eyes are a kind of dark green hazel colour, and I find this look kind of really helps to pull the colour out of my eyes because sometimes if I'm wearing certain eye looks, I find my eyes look more brown than green and you really can't see the green, but I think this kind of really helps the green kind of show through. So anyway, I hope you guys like the look. If you want to see how I did it, then keep watching. Okay, so starting with skin. Catherine actually doesn't have the best skin naturally. You can see in some of the pictures like the actual texture of her skin isn't amazing, but she does have great makeup that covers it up. So what I'm going to be using is Sue Devitt's Triple Seaweed Whipped Foundation in Great Sandy Desert and my Gemma Kid Flat Top Foundation Brush. And I'm just going to buff this into the skin. And then I'm using Amazing Cosmetics Concealer in Fair. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the back of my hand and then use my finger to apply it under my eyes. Just kind of warm it up with my finger on my hand as well. Otherwise I find this is a little bit dry. And just kind of pat it under my eyes and blend it in with my finger. And I'm just going to tidy up my eyebrows a little bit um, using the Smashbox Brow Tech. And I'm going to mix the two colours together but go slightly darker. And just kind of just fill in my brows. You guys have seen this all before. I'm going to do them a little bit darker than I would normally do them. Okay, so then I'm just going to zoom in and do the eyes. And to get that kind of emerald green look that Catherine quite often wears, I'm going to be using two colours from the Laura Geller Eye Rages palette. And they are Pistachio and Stage. And I'm going to go in with the lighter green here, which is called Pistachio. And I'm just going to apply this quite lightly to the lid, so you just have a very sheer wash of that pale green. And then I'm just going to take a pencil brush and using the darker colour, I'm just going to apply this all the way along the upper lash line. And sticking quite close to the lashes, just build up that green colour gradually and take it right into the corner of the eye as well. Take that same dark green colour underneath the eye a little bit. Just very lightly. And that's it for the eyeshadow. It's really, really simple. I'm just going to take a dark brown gel liner. This is Bobbi Brown's Espresso Ink on a bent liner brush. And just do a very thin line along the top lashes with that. And then finally I'm just going to go in with black mascara. I'm using new CID's Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara. I'm also just going to add a little bit of pencil liner in the waterline. I'm using Daniel Sandler's Long Lasting Waterproof in Black Velvet. Just because I looked again at the inspiration photo and she actually has quite dark eyes. As you can see you've got the black on the inside of the eye and then the brown on the lash line just kind of softens the look a little bit. So I'm going to zoom back out and finish the face. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of contour to the cheeks using Bare Minerals all over face colour in Faux Tan and a tapered brush. And just kind of bring the shape a little bit round as well just to accentuate the apples of the cheeks slightly.
And then to create that kind of deep rosy glow that Catherine has, I'm going to be using another Bare Minerals product. This is their blush in Naughty Naughty. And this is the colour, as you can see, it's a kind of deep rose. So I'm just going to use a tiny, tiny bit of that in the lid. And just apply this to the apples of the cheeks. Kind of working it in really slowly up towards the temples. To get the kind of rose berry lips that Catherine often wears, I'm going to be using a Daniel Sandler lipstick, and this is in Cherub. So it's a slightly metallic, kind of deep rose colour. And then finally, I'm going to add a little bit of gloss on top of that. I'm going to be using colour from New CID, which is slightly metallic as well. It's kind of like a deep raspberry colour, and this is called Raspberry Kiss. And these lip glosses are cool actually because they have lights in them too. So they kind of, you can't see because it's daylight, but in the dark they kind of light up your lips. So I'm going to add a little bit of that. On top. And that's it. So this is my Catherine Zeta Jones inspired makeup look. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you did. There are three more videos coming up in the QVC British Beauty series, so keep your eye out for those. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.